Would you believe that buying a cell phone case could help ease the water crisis in Africa? Well, the co-founders of Kansas City's Red Dirt have made it a part of their business model. Kyle Gary shows us more about the company in this edition of our Startup Snapshot. If you were asked why you have a phone case, you'd probably say to protect your iPhone from breaking when you drop it. But two Kansas City women believe their cases can help provide clean water to those who need it most. Water is a single most important factor um, in changing an impoverished person's life. When you can affect uh, people's access to water, you're saving them time, you're keeping them healthy, you're keeping children in school, it's a major domino effect. Once you go to a developing country and, and start to understand the, really the, the limits and the situations there that are oftentimes beyond the control of the, of the local people. Um, you understand that really what's missing is opportunity. And that's where Red Dirt comes in. They sell phone cases as well as apparel and partner with water.org to help fund clean water projects for people around the world. So uh, we decided to start a business and we wanted to create a social impact business in where it is for profit, um, but there is a piece of philanthropy built into each and every transaction and our customers really become the philanthropists. And a phone case is something most people with uh, an iPhone will, will purchase. Um, and the biggest component was uh, making our product distinctive. And we very quickly decided to do that by engaging artists. How hard is it to make a cell phone case? Well, it turns out it's really hard. Um, it's harder than we ever imagined, at least to do the kind of cases we wanted. You know, once we decided we wanted to have artist designs on our cases to make them distinctive in the marketplace, uh, we had to find a very particular kind of printer that had a, you know, operated at a really high level, you know, high quality standards to reproduce the artwork that was the most beautiful and most faithful to the, the original artwork as we could possibly get. So this is um, the hand of free time. Okay. One of the artists partnering with Red Dirt is Jeremy Collins, whose style of work comes from his many adventures across the globe. When uh, Christina and Don contacted me to work with Red Dirt, I knew it was the perfect opportunity to be involved in something that was not just beneficial to the world, but local. And um, I think they've done an amazing job of showing us how it's done and, and putting the pieces together. Collins already has two designs for sale right now, both from larger pieces of work. The first one features vibrant ocean life, and the second, a colorful mountain sunrise. Uh, my work is not photorealistic. It's very stylized, and um, uh, I like to explain it as the parallel lines you might leave uh, dragging your fingers or your feet through the sand, or you know, if you stick your hand out the window, it's the little traces that are left in the wind. You know, it's very popular right now to help people in need or to do good, and it's easy to roll your eyes at the next fundraiser or the next beneficial uh, company. But when you see the results um, of someone doing it in the right way, in a tasteful way, in something that is meaningful, uh, you want to be a part of it. We really feel that this is just the front of the wave of businesses doing good differently. It's not going to just be about hotels saying, oh, hang up your towel if you don't want us to waste water washing it. We really feel like that's just not being bad. Let's talk about um, how we can truly do good. And we want to be part of a wave that really is sweeping the country about more conscious capitalism, conscious consumerism, um, not just accumulation and, and consuming for consumption's sake, but um, tying, tying your purchase to uh, you know, a positive impact somewhere in the world is important to us. In December, after only eight months in business, Red Dirt presented a $5,000 donation to water.org. This is Kyle Gary at the Hale Center for Journalism. Always on the entrepreneurial beat, Kyle will spend some time with international get-in-the-ring winners I Verify here on the local show two weeks from now.